Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Nightcore. Now this is their P20i UV, as you can see there, 1800 lumens on the highest output there. This does feature a ultraviolet light. Now Nightcore sent this directly to me, they wanted me to test and review this light comes in this box so let's wait no further let's open it up see what's in and we have the new updated warranty cards. We have one user manual. Now I'm going to go ahead and post the specs to this on screen because this is a little too small. But to let you know, it is in multi languages. As you can see there, it puts out 1800 lumens on the highest output. Now if you need more time to read that, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise we're going to move along. One USB Type-C charging cable. CR123 battery adapter. Going to have a lot less light output using that. They also won't last as long as well. You get one clip in here, one lanyard, and one O-ring. This here is the poster. Now at first when I started reviewing their newer models last year. Uh, this holster really wasn't sure about it, but over time it has proved itself more than enough reliable and heavy duty for everyday carry of your flashlight with no issues whatsoever. Definitely is a nice quality light. You can adjust it for different belt thicknesses. Got the open end design. So if you do leave your light on, you'll be able to see it or someone else can tell you. All right. Now let's go ahead and get the light out here. And there it is. Now I'm quite familiar with the P20i. The design on them are identical, same host. Tail switch here. This is the power. That is the mode switch. Great for tactical use. A lot of heat sinking here. Here's the charging port that'll get you quickly charged back up some knurling here as you can see it's nice to see they have other series of lights that do different things of this model Now it does have areas on the head of the light keep it from rolling or slow it down. Now the style and design on this is very nice. Really like it. Great size for this light. Coming out with a 
P20IX of this and uh, that one is amazing. Now the machining and finish on this is very nice. No sharp areas, smooth. Does have a little area here at the top of the head that's kind of a flat black compared to the rest of the body. Strike bezel on this, very well known for the P series. That'll break glass if you hit it hard enough at the right angle. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the smooth reflector. Now this is running the Luminous SST40W LED. Try to get a close up of that. Now you can see the other UV LEDs, four of them on the other sides of that LED in the middle. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, take this apart. I'll show you the insides. Straight contact point there on the tail. This is running the dual fuel design battery. You want to remove this protection piece here. And I'll show you the battery. This is a 21700 cell. Positive end and negative here and positive and negative here. This is a protected cell. It's a 4000 milliamp. This is a 20 amp cell. So should provide plenty of power for this light. And there is a little spring down in the center that makes contact with that. All right, so now we'll put this back together. And let's get the uh, clip on here. This will tell you your battery level, 4.2 volts. You gotta do it right when you turn it on. Also, when you're charging it, when you unplug the charger, it'll tell your battery level then at that time. Now let's take the clip off of here. It's all tangled up. That's what the clip looks like. So you got two areas that you can do it. Here, 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 or here. I like the head of the light to aim downward. I'm going to do that. That's what that looks like. And you don't have to have this on there if you don't want it. Alright, now let's go through the UI. Activating the light. It is on. You can see the UVs. LEDs are on. Very faint. And then once you turn it on, the regular LEDs kick in to go through those light outputs. And then you're back down to the UV. I just kind of give you an idea. Let me uh, darken this up a little bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I turned off one of the lights here, you can kind of see the lines on this lottery ticket can't see them when they're there, but you can see them once they are lit up with the UV light. Good for if you want to check your money, make sure that it is indeed not counterfeit. So now let me turn the lights back on. All right. And again, we'll go through those light outputs. I'll get to about right there. And because of the way the strike bezel is, you're going to see little indentations here on three corners of the light. The hot spot there, definitely a combination beam. 
a lot of bleeding at the edge here spill tapers off not a huge sharp cut off once you get it on the light level that you want you can pressure switch that once you need it on full press it and you're good to go now on any level including the UV you can press and hold to get strobe and that is a constant rate on the flash now you can simply click it one time goes back to the last light output that you had you can from off have instant access to the strobe so it's strobe ready great for law enforcement security personnel turn that back on does have memory mode that's nice and that's all there is to this light I see the UV there solid build quality on these night core lights rugged never had any issues personally with them but this definitely is a very nice series of flashlights under this P20 all right well, let's wait no further. Let's take this bad boy out. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Nikkor P20i UV. Let's go ahead and get started. And it is on. See my glowing pants and shoestrings on the UV <laughs> that's pretty cool a lot of uses you can do with this even if you're law enforcement you're not going to see too much yeah all right let's go ahead and go to the first level there's the water spout sorry about that that's 35 feet from where I'm standing. 65 feet to that tree that is making it. There's the beam on the fence to give you an idea. And it is faintly making 138 feet there you can see the hot spot on the tree let's go to the next level see how it does good little jump now you can see spill areas come alive I list all my distances to my my testing area out here in the link below the description area of my videos that way you can always see or if you have any doubts we'll go to the next level see how it does it's the next level A lot of lights coming out of here. Making those trees across the park. This one here does have combination beam to it, but it does lean a little on the flood side, not much. 238 feet to that tree 
behind the tree of life. 138 feet of the school, lighting that up with these. Both playgrounds across the park are lit up. Tree line, fence line, we'll do a beam profile here, straight up and down. And we'll pan around one more time because this is really doing well. All coming from this little light right here. Got some good range on this. Why well, combination beams are my favorite. Some lights do better than others, but that's it. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. 1800 lumens is impressive, especially for this size of light. Now, Nikkor has never been into the huge Lumen Wars because of battery technology. A little bit lagging behind, but they are making steps to help their lights by using this new dual fuel design. Really an impressive light. The UV, definitely great, even if you're law enforcement and they looking for blood and they spray the Lumenthal on there and then it use their UV light you'll be able to see it with this a lot of other types of investigative work can be done using this light as well plus it's ready to go with blinding light at your fingertips literally and 1800 lumens especially the strobe ready that'll really disorient somebody in a heartbeat that is a huge plus the glass breaking bezel on this this thing is super rugged you're not going to have any issues very hard to scratch their lights now they can be scratched but they are very rugged and durable so it's really harder to scratch them over some of the other lights that you will buy now let me go ahead and finish up here showing you it in the holster. It's going to go ahead and put it in here and just like that. Really easy to use this because all you're doing is putting it in there, popping it in to this area. It is an open-end design. Wish Nikkor would implement a hands-free option where you can rotate the holster to be able to use it hands-free from your waist that would be perfect easy to pop out of there very rugged holsters I had my doubt at the beginning but Nikkor proved me wrong which has happened before well I want to thank Nikkor for sending me this P20i UV to review now if this is something you're interested in getting remember it's a complete kit comes with everything you need in this box get started outside that box all you got to do is charge it and in my case you don't it came fully charged it's a brand new model now I will leave a link for this down in the description area to the nightcorestore.com that way you can get this light plus you can use my special discount code that'll help you save some money on this just in case you're interested in getting it well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from Nikkor to you in the future. Thanks for watching.
Take care.